it's time to harvest some sweet potatoes. Welcome back to New Garden Road, where I share my love of gardening with you in a way that I hope will inform, inspire, and elevate you. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my page, hit the notifications bell, and stay up to date on all the garden action coming at you. How do you know when it's time to pick your sweet potatoes? You have to go by the days to harvest. For example, I'm growing the Vardaman variety, and they are said to take about 110 days before they're mature. I am going to remove all the tops and then I'll be able to dig them up more easily. So what I've done is I've intentionally left, you know, a good piece of the vine sticking out of the ground there. And they're not all like this, but leaving that stub visible helps me target where I need to dig because you're going to have the greatest concentration of sweet potatoes directly where the sweet potato slip was originally planted. It will vine and it will grow more sweet potatoes along the way, but they are generally smaller. And also, I will prune my vines back because I want the concentration of the growth and the nutrients to go to the bulk of where the sweet potatoes are going to grow. I like to excavate a little bit, and then as I go, you know, all this soil is going to be turned over and moved into that void. And then I'll keep going, progressing here as I harvest my sweet potatoes. Makes it a little bit easier for me, and I think it's particularly useful when you're doing a raised bed garden. So it would certainly be an option if you want to take a digging fork and start to excavate that way, loosen the soil. I like to get in there with my hands. I really like to work with the soil, I like the smell of it. You know, one thing I will say is that I'm always worried about, you know, breaking the sweet potatoes. I don't think I did too bad, but I did when I was using that digging fork, I chopped a couple in half. All right, so I'm gonna do the rest by hand. All right, well that's it. That's a wrap on harvesting my sweet potatoes. I think I did pretty good. All right, about 22 sweet potato slips that I originally planted here in this raised bed. I'm gonna get them out of the sun. I'm gonna let them cure in the shed with the dirt on for about a week. And then I'm gonna clean them up and bring them inside, make sure they're good for long-term storage. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some tips and I hope you got some big old sweet potatoes growing in your garden. If you like what you see and you wanna see more of it, please subscribe to my page. Leave me a question or comment below and keep it organic, y'all.